Corruption you know, continues to be uh, a major, major challenge in Afghanistan. I know that Ghani made this a um, focus of his campaign uh, when he ran um, to, to uh, lead the government in Afghanistan. But I noticed the New York Times reporting last week that corruption played a role in the Taliban's recent success in Kunduz, um, saying that the local security forces were extorting money from the locals, uh, which, which raised sympathy uh, for the Taliban. Um, they were being, um, in fact, hit up by the folks that we've been spending hundreds of millions of dollars to train, uh, and obviously that's unacceptable. Could you um, talk about that, and what is your assessment of the risk right now of corruption as it relates to the work we're trying to do with the Afghan National Security Forces? Yes, ma'am. Thank you for the question. Uh, I, I think President Ghani has stated, many people say that corruption is the number one issue as they look to the future. President Ghani and Dr. Abdullah have really tried to get after this from a, a couple of different levels. Uh, one is he knows that uh, contracting has caused a lot of corruption type issues. And so he's instituted a national procurement uh, director agency that looks at every single contract to make sure that those are valid, that he can, he can uh, get this corruption out of the out of the contracting piece. The other area he's looked at very hard is on leadership and trying to uh, pick the right leaders based on their experience, based on the right skill sets. Uh, and so, like something that you referred to up in Conduce, where people are taking money, uh, extorting from the local folks up there, if he had the right leadership in place, you know, that would not happen. So it's going to take time for him to get to all the right levels to make sure he, he breeds this culture uh, throughout the security forces that, you know, corruption um, is is not good and that if you are corrupt that you are going to be removed, you're going to have, uh, you're going to be held accountable. I'm worried about um, the conversion of some of the Taliban to an ISIS or ISIL uh, loyalty situation and would like your take on that. And I noticed in your previous testimony you indicated that you're seeing a switch of allegiance of the Taliban in Pakistan. Uh, to ISIL. Um, if, if that is the case, uh, I certainly would like you to speak to that briefly because obviously Pakistan, that's a whole other bag of, of worries in light of the fact that they have a nuclear capability. Thank you, ma'am. If, if I could hit the Pakistan piece first, because uh, General Rahil Sharif and I have talked about that as, early, as late as last week here, and he has absolutely um, uh, he has emphasized that ISIL, Daesh, has no place in Pakistan. So uh, he, he absolutely believes that that will be a threat as he moves forward and wants to make sure that that has no place. So I, I don't see Pakistan aligning with ISIL, if, that, if that's what you were saying there. They, and you see the, their government committed to doing what is necessary without us having to prod, push, and pay for that effort. I, I have talked to General Heal on that several times, and I do believe that he's genuine and he is pushing uh, both uh, his, his army and his intel services to, to fight Daesh. Yes, ma'am. And on the, the other piece as far as ISIL and Daesh, and um, we have seen, as I said earlier, that I would have called them nascent several months ago. We, we put them in a category of operationally emergent as they continue to, to recruit, to gain, um, to gain a base uh, in predominantly Nangar in the eastern part of Afghanistan. They are fighting other Taliban because the philosophy there is a little bit different. We have not seen them reach out to outside of, uh, of Afghanistan, but I think that that would be a goal that they have if they had the ability to continue to grow. President Ghani has said that, they're, that the Al-Qaeda was Windows 1.0 and that uh, Daesh is Windows 7.0 in their ability to use social media uh, to recruit.